Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a report for a resource that is working on multiple projects. So first of all, I'm going to create a couple of projects, simple projects, so a blank project, and just let me make the size a little bit bigger and easier to see. Put that up to 18. So I'm just going to call this project A and just do two simple tasks, task A and task B. I'll indent those two. So they become, that becomes a summary task and just give them some durations. And then I want to go to the resource sheet and create myself two people. Again, I'll go up there and change the font for you so you can see that easier. I've built and Ben, I'm not interested in money for this example. I'm just going back to the Gantt chart and I'm going to allocate them to tasks. So I'll put Ben on task A and Bill on task B, like so. Here they are, you can see them in that column there, and you can see them on the Gantt chart. So I'll save that one. And then I'm doing Control W to close that down. So Project A, and then Control W, close that down. Give myself another one. Do the same thing. Make it a bit bigger so you can see it. This is Project B. Task A. Task B. I'm going to do that, get rid of that one, highlight those two, indent them across, and same thing, one day, one day. Give myself two different uh, resources, um, Steve and Anne. Steve and Anne, go back in there and allocate them to these tasks. So task A can be Anne. Task B can be Steve. There you go. Save the file. Call this project B. And then close it down, Control W. So I've got my two files where I've got allocated resources, but now I want to create a master file where I'm going to bring those two together into this file. Let's change the settings again. So I'll just call the title master and then give myself a couple of line spaces. Go into the project tab and I'm selecting sub project. And then I'm scrolling down and go, I want project A first, another line space, sub project, and then I want project B. And then I want these indenting underneath the summary. So it gives me an overarching Timeline, open that up, you can see the resources sitting there like so. So I'll save this as master. And then do the report. So there's the information coming in. So these are live links. If I do any changes on this, it will actually update these sub projects and vice versa. If anybody changes one of these sub projects, I will see that impact here in this master file. Now, in terms of reports, I want to see the allocation for each project in terms of resources. Sometimes you might have the same resources on both projects. Spell and wrong, Annie. So that might be the case that you want to have a look at whether if there's any clashes or things like that. But this is just straightforward, separate resources. If I go up to reports and new report i'll just do a table so you can see how it works i'll call it um, my report and then it creates the table so what it's doing at the moment is looking at the top level so it's looking at the master and what i've got on the right hand side is the field list that i need to open up a little bit and look down here for all tasks 
project summary. So if I change that to all subtasks, you'll see project summary there. But what you have, what I haven't got is the actual project name there. Now you can, this is on the tasks. You can go to resources and look at it via resources. So that's Bill, Ben, but I'm just going to leave that on there and then tick resource names here. So I'll add them in. And then what I need to do is there's no group there that I want that shows project. So I'm going to go a new group by. I'm going to call it projects. And then I'm going to select project from this drop down here. So right down the bottom there, it's I'll type it projects, probably quicker. There it is, project. And then I'm applying that. And now it's showing project A and project B. And it's collapsed because it's just showing level one. But if I open that again and say all subtasks, that's now showing me all subtasks. Now that's a bit squashed. So I'm going to have to adjust this, move this across. In fact, I don't want the start and finish date, so I can take that off. Take the finish date off. Take the start date off. And then you've got resource names at the end there where you can just bring that in. So it's now giving you the percentage complete resource names. Do I want percentage complete? Let's get rid of that. Remove field. Don't want that. Then you start getting this a bit tidier. Bring that back over here. Bring that back over as well if you want. So there you go. There's each project. Project B, Project A, who's on what. Now, if you want to put the hours on there, you've got the work. You can put actual work there and it's giving you the hours or you can put the planned work based on their allocation, which is there. So you can see what the breakdown is across there. So I probably don't want actual work just yet because I haven't done anything. It's just been allocated. But this report is, is a live report. It will reflect any changes. So if you bring another project into this master project with resources allocated onto it, this will pick it up. So hopefully this little video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.